just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags pretty fine, bitches. Filters call, got a pickup figures. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Come check me, you know I got it. Figure what? Small from legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. Today, we're doing another action figure review. Today, we're going to be looking at Hasbro's. Marvel Legends series, Captain America, Civil War, build a figure, Giant Man. Big shout out to Walt Carroll, who hooked me up with the wave at a very good price and at an early convenient time. It was still a deal for for something that I got a, a couple weeks early. Well, I never got around to reviewing it for a while. I don't know. I had a lot piling up, so I had a lot on my plate with the customs and all that. So now I'm doing it, and we getting it in. Um, I gotta say, I do like this build a figure. I love I love the look. I don't have any of the comic Giant Man or Ant Man. I do have the movie stuff, and um, I have the Walgreens exclusive Ant Man also. So. Other than that, I don't know why I never came around to buying a comic book accurate Giant Man or Ant Man. I don't know what it was. But, <clears throat> but whatever the case may be, I have this figure now. And I really like it a lot. He is pretty dope. I'm a huge fan of Paul Rudd, which is probably why... I'm, I picked up this wave. Um, I like Paul Rudd a lot. I'm a big fan of him. I first discovered him in Friends when he was in Friends. You know, when Friends was finishing up, he was uh, Phoebe's fiance or husband, whatever he is now. And um, I've liked him throughout the years in a lot of the movies he's been in. Primarily, um, I love him in 40 Year Old Virgin. <laughs> this guy's the man in 40 Year Old Virgin. He made me laugh a lot, but um, I don't know. I don't know why I never it never dawned on me to get an Ant Man comic book. I don't know. I, I never. I really not a fan of the uniform. To be honest with you, it was too DC ish, if that makes any sense. And um, I like the way he looks now. He looks more like an ant. You know, the black, the red. You know, a lot of his colors are associated with what we see in ants. You know, ants are black, red. Um. Uh, gray, maybe the flying ants, the carpet ants, but yeah. So that's what you see here. I really like it a lot, and um, just glad I picked this bad boy up. Let's see, it focus. So, as you can see here, he has some nice scope work done. A lot of, um, you get that feel that he's made out of a, a material, like Kevlar leather maybe. The black does look leather. I like the chest right here. It feels like Kevlar almost. Um, the face, the uh, helmet looks nice. I don't like the way the eyes look, but I'm glad mine's didn't come cockeyed. I've seen a lot of people's, their eyes came cockeyed, and mine's, I think it looks pretty good. Um... A lot of people said that there were some paint mix misses, some defects on the paint. I agree, I have that in certain areas with this figure, but again, it's not as bad as what I've seen. See, there's like some paint missing there on the elbow. So we get it there, right there. And in the joint, you can see right there. You can see right here. Right here, it's not that bad. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I've learned when it comes to Has Hasbro, I've learned to expect it. I mean, it did get better at a point because it was bad when um, it was bad with the I believe the puck wave is when it started. 
But um, it's gotten better, and now it's kind of backtracking a little bit. Um, I did have some paint problems on some other characters in this wave, but I'll get into it with that. I really like this figure, though. I like the little blues right here. Makes me feel like um, you got the blues on the pouches. It makes me feel like um, because remember in the movie the red was the to make small and the blue was to make big. So that's probably why the blue lights are there, maybe, as um he's using the growing, the growing um elixir. I guess you want to say the part, the particle, the growing particles. So maybe, maybe if he shrinks, it turns red. The lights, that'd be cool. That's just a concept. I didn't see the movie yet, so I'm just assuming. And I know they say you make an ass out of yourself when you assume, but it's safe to say I think it's a, be a safe bet. Um, I don't like his feet. I hate that he look like he got Jordans on or sneakers with some big ass tongues. But um, I see what they were trying to achieve there. I really like this build figure. Though. I wish it was a bit taller, maybe. But again, this is my first Giant Man of anything, so I don't, I can't compare him to the old Toy Biz release. But I'm pretty sure the Toy Biz one was taller. But for what this is, it's dope. It's better. I think it's about. It's better than um. A the collecting connect, a DCUC collecting connect, like a patch of chief or something like that. As we get a lot of detail with these figures and stuff like that. But um it's a sweet figure. Really happy about it. I'm glad we got it. I know there was a lot of speculation and then that that supposedly leaked figure photo came out, everybody was losing their their, their stuff, then they were complaining about the size, but I kinda like the size. Gotta remember, guys, this is the first time that we know of that he's growing that size. You can't over-exaggerate it and make him, like, 18 feet tall, maybe bigger. You know, like, a legend a legend is about the size of his leg. So, I think that's pretty decent, like, double the size of a of a human. I think that's a good start. Maybe along the way, he can become bigger and bigger. Um, but I like it. I'm going to pan out. See, here he is. Just so you get a feel of how big he is. Here he goes with, with, the, with his counterpart cap. <clears throat> so you can see, he's at the waist, so, I mean, he, he's not though the size of a six inch figure, he's a little bit smaller, I still think it's still good, he still kick people around, bully them, and stuff like that, um, I I wonder how the, the strengths will play out when he's in his mode, because we remember when he shrinks, he's very strong, like the ants are. They could they could lift like five times their their weight, so I wonder if, if that stays with him here or he's strong like a humanoid or something like that. So put that to the side, the cap, <clears throat> and then we get into it with this guy's articulation, which is pretty standard in the Marvel Legend aspect, and it's cool. I like it. His head looks up a very decent amount. Looks down not much because he's a big figure. He does have ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. He has a wrist swivel and it's hinged so it goes forward and back. He has an ab crunch. Doesn't go back at all. Just goes forward. And I'm okay with that because this is a big figure. There's no need for him to be crunching back. He has a waist swivel. I like that. He got the splits going on. We don't see this anymore with the other figures. The the Marvel Legends as a late. They all have what my boy Shardimus like to call per pervert proof. Pervert proof legs. He has an upper thigh cut swivel. Double jointed knee. I would have liked a boot rotation, but it is what it is. And he has an ankle that's hinged and goes back. Not forward as much. A little bit. And he has a pivot. <clears throat> I 
I like this guy. I'm really happy to have him. I, I, I can honestly say now that I have this, I want to do what a lot of the guys in the collecting community do with with a uh, character like this. They all have the growing. I, I don't want to call it a monologue, but the effect, that growing effect, where they have they have this, the Marvel Select, the Marvel Legend, the Marvel Universe. And then whatever tiny figure they have. So I got a bunch of them. Because I have the movie figure. The Marvel Legends movie. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Fordham Comics and pick up the the Marvel Select. And whatever I'm missing between, in between. I'll, I'll just pick it up when, when I can. Because I want to do that now. That would be cool. Um, that's the review on this guy. I really recommend, highly recommend this wave. This wave is pretty dope. But even if we do get another Captain America Iron Man. I mean... Can't really go wrong. The Iron Man bulk is dope. I love it. It's the right size. But we suffer in terms of articulation. A lot of it is limited. I don't know why. But that's what we got with Iron Man anyway. Even though compared to the Japanese figures. Which blow it out the frame when it comes to articulation. It's a domestic figure. It's still good. I'm, I'm happy they, they worked on a, a, a new tool for Iron Man. It's more size comparable accurately, more detail and stuff like that. But just go into my review for the Iron Man so you can see what I'm talking about. And I love this cap. It was a darker scheme, a better scheme. It was better than Age of Ultron. I didn't like the Royal Blue. I like this darker blue. I'm thinking about using the Age of Ultron one now to make a custom Netflix Daredevil. And that's my thoughts on this wave, guys. You won't be disappointed, especially if you get it out of deal. I don't really think a case is worth... $165 for this one. Maybe the X-Men wave or something like that. But, again, I got... You know, they hooked me up. I'm not going to say how much, but I got hooked up. And um, you could probably find this. You could probably get a case for, like, $135. That's awesome. Well, anyway, again, that's the review. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page. Follow my Instagram and Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this build figure. You already know. It's your boy, Double Zoo. And I'm out. One.